I am Anil Kumar and in these couple of videos we are trying to match graph of a reciprocal function with the given equation. So I have taken examples of quotient of polynomials that will help us also to understand the chapter 5.2 which is quotient of polynomial equations, right? So that is reciprocal functions also and also rational functions, right? So there is kind of an overlap. Now, here we have a graph, I've clearly marked a vertical asymptote, which is at x equals to 3. You need to match out of these four given equations, which one represents the given graph for us. You can pause the video, write down the answer, and then look into my suggestion. Now, first step should be, we have vertical asymptote at x equals to 3. That means denominator of our function should be 0 for x equals to 3. So if I put 3 here, I get 6, so that is not the option. But if I put 3 here, I do get 3 minus 3 as 0. So this could be one of the answers, or the other one could be part C. In both these equations, if I substitute 3 for x, I get 0 in the denominator. So we do have a vertical asymptote at x equals to 3. So that part is x equals to 3, vertical asymptote. So now we have to see the behavior near the asymptote, right? So if I substitute a value which is greater than 3, my function should have a negative value, right? That is what it is. So, so if I have a value which is greater than 3, let us say 3.1. So in this case, 3.1 minus 3 is positive, but the numerator is negative, so it is negative. So that is my option. If I substitute here, 3.1, I get a positive value. Therefore, this rational function or the reciprocal function of a line x minus 3 does not represent the graph, right? So here the key thing which we look into is, one is the vertical asymptote by equating denominator to 0. The other is behavior near asymptote. right so I'm trying to introduce you to the term behavior near asymptote that means we're looking for a point very close to the asymptote on either side of 3 right so if I take a point which is less than 3 let us say 2.9 then I should expect a positive high value so if I write 2.9 here then minus 1 is always negative 2.9 minus 3 will be 0.1 with a positive negative sign right so 0 0.1. So if I write 2.9, I get 1 divided by 0 0.1, which is 10, which is high value and positive. So we can get this. So you can test this point like this. So testing vertical asymptotes and the behavior near the vertical asymptotes help us to identify the answer. The other could be you could substitute 0, correct? If I substitute 0, I'm expecting positive value. So if I substitute 0 here, negative divided by negative is positive. That works, right? So the other one is uh, we can check when x equals to 0. So that is a very easy calculation. doesn't require any thinking. So I think this is even a better option, right? So check for the vertical asymptote and check for the y-intercept, I should say, right? y-intercept to solve such questions or to match such graphs with the equation. I hope that helps. Thank you.